again and yet expect different results. And it doesn't work like that, you guys. I mean, keep this in mind. For things to change, I have to change, okay? For you to get to 6A, it means that we're gonna have to get out of our comfort level, but we here with Premier Partners, which is the fastest growing organization in all of Enagic, we are developing the tools that you're gonna need to be able to drive your business to a whole new level. Now look at this, let me just take this one step further. This is assuming that you helped two teams to get there. What if over the next few years, you actually were able to help four teams to get there? At today's monetary value, think about this, that's over a quarter of a million dollars just off the, off the uh, international revenue sharing component alone. And as I talked about earlier, I have seen income, record breaking incomes being generated here with Enagic. And you know what? Again, it all is a direct result of the, of what people are experiencing from that water and they're telling others who tell others who tell others. So it's a product driven concept here. And I'm very thankful to be here to catch something this big, this early in the game. And I thank God every day that I was introduced, for, uh, you know, to, to the remarkable properties of Kangen Water. This is a technology that makes all the sense in the world. And I sincerely hope that the information we share with you today about Kangen water has been compelling enough for you to change your water and maybe even change your life. Thank you. Hello, we are very pleased to have with us today Dr. Dave Carpenter. Dr. Carpenter is a graduate of Central State College of Health Sciences, a diplomat of International Academy of Medical Acupuncturists, and has 20 years experience as a naturopath and acupuncturist. Dr. Carpenter's focus for the past 20 years has been educating people on how to become healthy and how to stay healthy. Dr. Carpenter, welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Well, thanks for inviting me, Jeannie. You're it's welcome. a pleasure to be here. Great. My first question for you today, Dr. Carpenter. Dr. Hiromi Shinya, along with yourself and most all other health specialists, believe that it is vitally important for one's health to drink the right water. Could you tell us what is the right water and elaborate a bit on that for me? Absolutely, Jeannie. I think the first part of that is, is we have to understand that the body is basically 70 to 80 percent water. We come into this world at an even higher amount of water mm -hmm. and basically a baby is about 90 percent water mm -hmm. and as you know baby skin is soft and, and smooth and everybody compares um, skin to babies and the reason is the high saturation and hyd hydration levels and that's what is necessary for health. So water is one of the first keys to health, and, and um, the right water, as you, as you just mentioned, is extremely important because there's several characteristics of that water. Obviously, it needs to be clean and pure, but that's just a starting point. In other words, we want to take as many of the toxins and, and, and chemicals and all of those types of things out of it as we possibly can. And then we want that water to be structured, structured in such a way that uh, the body can utilize it better. One of the really neat things about the Enagic um, water generator is that it microclusters water. It means simply that the water molecules are smaller. Yes. There are less of those um, than in regular water, which means that in, when it gets inside the body, the water which acts as a solvent basically um, hydrates better. It helps detoxify the body better. Um, in, in other words, it's cleansing the, the garbage out as well as carrying more of the good stuff into the cells. Now this water can do some other aspects and, and that's why Dr. Uh, Shinya is so excited about it because um, as, as we've seen in previous um, film clips, what, what he's done with gastrointestinal patients is absolutely incredible with footage from the colonoscopy showing how the water literally has cleaned the inside of the intestinal tract. It's literally taken dark, sick, unhealthy uh, cells and turned them into healthy pink tissue again in a matter of sometimes as short a time as 30 to 90 days. And th it's because this water has these properties. One, it's antioxidant, meaning that it basically helps reduce the oxidation or the um, aging process 
that cells go through when they're basically um, being overcome by free radicals. Mm -hmm. What it's doing is, is it's helping to reduce that free radical damage or slowing down the aging process, which lets the cell be stronger, healthier, and more vital so that it can do the job that it was designed to do. And it doesn't matter where in the body it's at, by the way. It doesn't matter whether it's in the GI tract, whether it's in the heart, whether it's in the brain, or whether it's in your fingertips, for example. Another aspect of water that's really important is the amount of oxygen that is in the water, the amount of oxygen that's being carried by the water. Our body, again, needs oxygen. Oxygen is critical in metabolic processes. It's also critical in alkalizing um, or neutralizing acids, in other words. Um, alkalization is a third component that's extremely important in the water. And if we're getting water in our bodies that's alkaline, it helps the body reduce the load on the alkalizing buffering systems, such as our pancreas, such as our bones, where we store um, important minerals, um, our teeth, our connective tissue. Um, that is why uh, people with high acid problems tend to have connective tissue problems or receding gums, because the, the hard um, bones, basically, and connective tissue of the body are where we store a lot of our minerals, along with muscles. And so these minerals then have to be pulled away from these uh, storage areas and, and where they're being utilized to work with the bones and, and the connective tissue just to neutralize acid waste. So alkalizing water does away with the need for that and, and is able to uh, pull a lot of these things out of the body quicker, more efficiently, and certainly um, without losing those precious minerals that our body needs for growth and for properly functioning of the cells. Dr. Carpenter, you know, I'm hearing so much today about people are more acidic than ever before. Therefore, it only makes sense that there is more of a need for this Kangen water than ever before. So could you just explain to me as best as you can why today are people more acidic than ever before? I mean, why is that so vitally important now, more so than it was maybe 10, 20 years ago? It's a great question, Jeannie. Um, I think there's several reasons for that. One of the reasons, of course, is our diet. Um, but even bigger than our, just our diet is our lifestyle. We're busier, we're on the run more. Um, I mean, you, you talk to a mother today, for example, and uh, mm -hmm. you know we call them soccer moms mm -hmm. affectionately because they're constantly on the run. Uh, I mean, I feel sorry just listening to all of the things that they have to do in a day, and, and this kind of stress is an unbelievable on the body, and it creates a tremendous amount of acid waste. But to put it in perspective, just understand that as the body metabolizes fuel at the cellular level, it's, it's creating energy and a byproduct. And because of the lifestyle and because of the diet that, or the fuel source that we use, in other words, um, this is mostly an acid. Acids come out uh, uh, through the process of metabolism and they have to be neutralized. Most of you will remember at a time in your life when you over-exercise or overstrained. And the next morning, waking up, and you can barely move. Mm -hmm. You scream. Muscles hurt. You're, you're just literally aching just to move and, and, and get out of bed and, and maybe go into the bathroom for the first time in the morning. It's like, I don't even want to do this. Well, that's really mostly lactic acid. And lactic acid is generated when we overuse our muscles or when we use our muscles and, and the, the degree to which we're able to neutralize and move that uh, lactic acid out of the body, Jeannie, is what helps us uh, determine how much we can do before the body processes start to slow us down. So this is where acid waste becomes a problem. And in an acid